is a 50 inch antique brass cast blanket delta 2 ceiling fan um believe it or not this fan already has a video on my channel um i'll link that in the description but i'm doing a remake of it because that video is really old and um it is now installed here at, at well one i recorded that video at my old house two um that video was simply just a video uh testing the fan um, and it had a K2 on it. It looked really stupid and all that good stuff. But now it's got a proper light kit. It's got these beautiful blades, um, which you might recognize these blades. They came from uh, my polished brass uh, Slumber 5 Delta 2. And uh, you might be like, isn't this a Slumber 5 Delta 2 as well? Yes, it is. It is a, and that's why the light's on. Um, it's because it's wired to the D1 option and I have no freaking idea if the, uh, um, uh, pull chain in it is, does have a light wire and I do, and I'll be, and I'm honestly, and honestly, you guys, I'll be pissed if it doesn't because there have been countless times that I've wanted to run the, uh, um, run the fan out here without the light on, but I just have not been able to do that. Um, in terms of the light, it's got three LEDs and one 40 watt appliance bulb, um, simply because, uh, we did have four LEDs in there, but one of them is elsewhere and yeah, so. Uh, I can't remember where the fan is set to. Okay, it's set to speed one. For those who don't know, Slumber 5 fans are five speed. I, that's why it's called Slumber 5, if you couldn't figure that out. So, just like in the previous video of the Cali Zephyr, um, since this is not a three speed, I'll try to describe each speed as kind of a different speed. Um, this one's a lot easier to explain because it, with it being an odd number of speeds, there's directly a, a medium speed on it. So... Right now it's on speed number one. Uh, this is kind of a low speed. Obviously the lowest is the low speed. Duh. <laughs> um, and the reason why I'm kind of rushing my words right now is because this fan is installed on my three seasons porch. It is cold as balls in here. Um, what? I don't, I don't even know what I just said, but um, it, it's cold. It's really freaking cold in here. My feet, I, like it's, I feel like my feet are about to fall off. Like, it's so cold. Uh, don't ask why I'm doing this in the middle of winter. So here's speed two. This is kind of a um, low-ish medium. Like, um, it's basically not that much different than low. It's just a bit faster um, than low speed. Uh, when I first got the fan, I it, it actually would not start on uh, low speed. Um, and when the first couple months that I had this out here on the sun porch or in the three season porch, I actually, uh, um, the fan would not start on a uh, low or, uh, or speed one or speed two, which is, which is mind boggling. Like that's how bad it was. And that's how bad, like, it, and it was, and that was a cold winter too. So like, uh, this year's winter isn't up here in, uh, uh, Michigan, it's not, it's actually not that bad, um, but, yeah, oh, three and a half minutes, oh my god, here's the speed three, which is a, basically a medium speed, um, you, and, and you might be like, wait, isn't this slower than the Cali Zephyr was in last week's video? Yes, and that is because this fan still has stiff bearings, okay, like, the bearings on this fan are still pretty stiff, um, and I think, and, and, and at least my experience with Slumber 5 fans, they, they just, like, Slumber 5 fans are just slower in general. It, it, it might be just a common trend because both of them have stiff bearings, but, like, I've noticed, even in ones that don't have stiff bearings, they still run a little bit slower. But, um, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. Ouch. Um, my, uh, thumb, or my nail got caught up in the thing. Here's V4, which is a medium high. And you can see, there's a huge freaking difference. Um, and actually, this, like, this is actually quite um, around the medium speed that the Cali Zephyr had in last week's video. Um, it might look a bit different uh, on camera, but in person, you, you can definitely see um, some of the similarities within it. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Whew, oh, my gosh. Here's high. The high speed is just gonna be short, just so I don't, just so I don't freeze to death out here. 
which I'm not going to. I'm just being I'm just being a dramatic son of a gun. But um, yeah, you can probably hear the fans' uh, bearings uh, getting going. It's not as bad as the bright brass one though. Uh, and the only reason why this fan is still out here, uh, compared to what I used to have out here, is because it's it because it has its, it has a low ceiling adapter, which I love. Like this fan need the fan in here needs to be very low profile. Um. So, if anybody's selling a uh, Hunter uh, low profile original, please, or specifically a brown one, or at least the mounting for a low profile original. It doesn't have to be an actual low profile original as long as it's the mounting for one of them because I already because I have an original that I've that I've wanted in here for or that I that I used to have in here by the way um for a while and like I just haven't uh, been able to uh you know put it back because I don't have the low profile uh, mounting and uh, low profile uh, type mounting for it this fan is reversible too but I this video has been going for six minutes. I don't need it going any longer. <laughs> and and if you guys are wondering, and, and like, it, 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 my my bad talking is just because it's cold. Like, oh wait, you can't see it. Damn. Yeah, I'm I'm not very smart. I don't know if you couldn't tell, but uh, that's gonna be it uh, for this video of this uh, Castlevania Delta Two Slumber Five Antique Brass from 1985 with these cane blades and a K4 and uh, these uh, weird looking bubble chains. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go inside and get some hot cocoa. Peace out. <laughs>